In this video, I'll be reviewing the Go Sport tennis bag, uh, and specifically, we're gonna be looking at their Axiom 9-pack tennis bag. Now, before I get started, a quick disclaimer. Uh, Chris, the founder of Go Sport, um, he reached out to me last year and sent me uh, this bag for free uh, so that I would review it. He did not pay for the review. Um, this is gonna be a totally honest review. What we're gonna cover uh, is the racket capacity, the storage, uh, some things I don't like about this bag, uh, and then some of the best alternative tennis bags on the market. So although I did get this bag uh, for free, uh, I did not pay for it, um, I will be uh, assessing the quality of the bag uh, 100% um, honestly here. So uh, the first thing we'll talk about is the racket capacity. So it's called a, a nine pack tennis bag because it can store up to nine rackets. Now. Uh, in general, when you see that on a tennis bag, uh, that is not typically the amount of rackets you'll actually want to store. So for this bag, what I recommend is typically storing up to four rackets. Uh, if you do store you know, six, seven, eight, nine, you're not gonna have a lot of room for much else. Uh, but if you need that, it is available, and I'll show you that a little bit more here in a second. Um, so we'll start with the storage for the tennis rackets. Uh, you can store two on each side, so each of these zipper pockets on the side um, can store up to two rackets. So you can see it's a pretty small uh, pocket. It zips all the way down like that, and you can slide your tennis racket out and back in, and then zip it back up. Uh, so you can see there I only had one racket on that side. On this side, I do have two. It's a little bit, um, Where's that zipper? There it is. It's a little bit snugger fit on this side with two, uh, and you'll need to kind of play with um, how they best fit into here, um, but we'll get more into that later. Uh, but you can see that we can easily store um, two rackets on either side. Uh, alternatively, um, you can store rackets in the center compartment. So right now, I don't have any rackets in here, and I've actually got their kind of shelf set up um, displayed here for you. And to store more rackets, what you can do is you can actually remove these shelves. So they're just held on to the sides here by Velcro, uh, and you can set them aside or you can uh, just Velcro them to one side and put more rackets into here. Uh, I don't ever carry more than four rackets, so I don't need to store any rackets in here. Uh, instead, I keep my grips. I have a can of balls here, um, a pair of sunglasses, a towel down here at the bottom. I've even got room for um, a water bottle if I need that, um, and more on this shelf because I actually have two pairs of sunglasses right here, which is not uh, completely necessary. So um, that is it for the racket storage as well as the um, kind of shelf space here in the middle. Uh, it's a really unique design. I don't know of really any other um, racket bags that are designed this way. Uh, one of my favorite things about it is that when I'm walking onto the court, uh, I've got these shoulder straps, which are great for uh, wearing it like a backpack and they're very comfortable, they have good padding. Uh, but then when I wanna set it down, I just grab it by this grab handle and I can set it um, directly on the court and it's got kind of a flat base so that it stays upright much more easily than any other uh, racket bag that I've, uh, I've ever used um, in my time reviewing tennis gear. So uh, also on the sides here, we've got some smaller pockets. So we've got one pocket here um, where I store a knee brace and um, some Advil and a few other things. Uh, we have another smaller pocket at the bottom. Um, I put sunscreen in here. You can put um, strings or grips or whatever you'd like in there as well. Uh, and then on the other side, we have one more pocket. This one has a few compartments that are lined with felt. Um, great for storing your cell phone, any valuables, uh, keys, wallet. Um, I actually store uh, some extra sets of strings in here uh, for myself. And then probably my favorite compartment, uh, I know we've covered a lot here, but my favorite compartment on this bag is the shoe compartment at the top. So I typically don't keep shoes in here because I'll usually play locally and just wear my shoes to the court, but they easily fit my uh, my shoes, uh, I've got my Prince uh, T22s here. Um, they easily fit them. These are si uh, men's size 12, so I'd imagine they will fit 
uh, yours as well. And then I've also got four tennis balls in here, um, a jump rope, uh, an extra knee brace, um, and sometimes I'll even store a water bottle in here as well. So this is my favorite storage compartment uh, because I'll wear my shoes to the court, like I said. So I can keep a lot of stuff in here. And because the bag sits upright like this on the court, it's really easily accessible on changeovers. Um, you can see this is a kind of mesh uh, netting here at the top. So if you put any um, sweaty clothes or any shoes that uh, you've already used, they're gonna dry out really easily. Um, this, this is a lot better uh, than a lot of bags do where it may just be one small hole or something like that. Um, so that is one of, uh, definitely one of my favorite uh, features. Overall, um, yeah, this is a very quality bag. Uh, the zippers, you can tell, are very high quality. I've had mine for almost a year and have had zero issues. Uh, the bottom is um, kind of reinforced with a, a pretty durable fabric here um, so that when you do set it on the court, it doesn't wear out. Uh, the back has some good padding. Uh, this is a, a weather resistant fabric as well on the outside. Um, so overall, it's a really uh, high quality bag. The one drawback to this bag, I would say, is going to be the racket pockets on the side. Uh, it took me a while when I first got it to figure out how to best um, kind of layer my rackets when I wanted to put two in this side pocket. Uh, and what I determined is the inside racket handle is best uh, forward towards the shoulder strap and then the outside one is best uh, sitting back like that. Um, and then it zips up quite easily. So uh, that may, may take you a second. Um, if you have a, uh, a long body or an oversized racket that's 27 and a half or 28 inches, um, this could create some issues for you. So I would test it uh, with a friend's or um, go into a store and, and try it out and make sure your rackets fit. Uh, but if you have a 27 inch normal length racket, then you should be um, all good there. So uh, the other thing about this bag that's great is they don't make tennis rackets. Uh, Go Sport just makes uh, tennis bags. So uh, if you switch from head to Wilson and you had a head tennis bag, um, you're totally good uh, as far as consistency. I know a lot of people don't care about that, but some do. Uh, and this off-brand bag um, obviously resolves uh, that for itself. Uh, and then some good alternatives to the Go Sport tennis bag. Uh, the Vessel tennis bag, which uh, we also have a video review on, um, is a great option. It's a little bit higher priced, uh, more of kind of a luxury style bag. Uh, Wilson, Babolat, uh, as well as Adidas all um, also make good quality uh, nine pack tennis bags as well. So we're going to link to those as well as um, a place for you to buy the Go Sport uh, tennis bag below the video. Uh, if you have any questions, you can comment below as well, uh, and we will see you in our next product review. If you want to become a smarter doubles player and start winning more matches, then join the Tennis Tribe Doubles Strategy newsletter. Every single Thursday, I'll send you a new doubles tip or tactic that you can use in your very next match. And when you join, you're going to get a free guide on how to play with more confidence and start dominating at the net in doubles. My name's Will, I'm the founder of the Tennis Tribe, and over the last five years, I've worked with players at every level of the game, from USTA 3-0 players, all the way to Division I college programs, as well as some of the top 10 doubles players in the world. And on Thursdays, with this strategy newsletter, I share that knowledge and advice that I've gained over the years with you. So to sign up, you can go to thetennistribe.com and again, you'll get that free net play guide when you join.